Thanks for joining me again, y'all. This is Archimese. Um, I'm really disturbed today, y'all. Um, I'm from Maryland. I'm from Baltimore, to be exact. And um, yesterday I see an article. It was actually an article that led to a video ad by um, one of the senators from Maryland who was running for governor, uh, Richard Magdaleno. And um, Mr. Magdaleno uh, made the video uh, what he says is that he was taking a shot at President Trump. Um, but uh, when you get into the video ad, um, it's quite quite a bit disturbing. And I, I'll tell you why. And so, some of you who have seen it already, um, if you're pro-homosexual and that kind of thing, you, you're probably already on uh, defense immediately uh, before I even start. Um, but that's fine. Um, this is actually not an uh, anti-homosexual campaign or anything like that. This is just um, my observation of what I saw. Um, the first thing about the ad that disturbed me, and I, I encourage you all to watch it so you know what I'm talking about if you haven't already. But um, this this video ad is full of children. Um, now, these children, I wonder... If they even know what they signed up for or if their parents knew what they signed up for. And uh, even if it was kind of explained to them, looking at the ages of some of these children, I wonder if they fully understood uh, what they were being told and asked to do. Because some of them actually had um, lines. It was scripted of what they were supposed to say at certain points in this video, ad, which which was really um it, for lack of better words, corny um, and distasteful at that. But the end of the video, which was supposed to be the nail in the coffin, you know, the big, the big, the big one thing that was supposed to really set Trump off. And they made the statement, this is really going to piss Trump off. Um, Mr. Magdaleno had his, I guess it's his husband. On the last clip of this video ad with two children who I don't believe are their children. I believe they were actors. Two children, uh, two black kids sitting at their feet while they engaged in a kiss. And they made the statement that this is this is really pissed Trump off. Now, several things are, <laughs> are wrong here. And I'm really, really disturbed. I'm laughing, but it's not funny at all. First off is the fact that they used these children, they exploited these children to, I don't know, get a message across or maybe to soften people up because uh, we're probably a little bit less apt to attack if children are involved. And that's that's just some some really distasteful stuff if that's what they did. Um, number two, um, if this is a political campaign, then uh, we're in bad shape if this is the best that we can do. Um, taking shots at a president and using your sexual orientation and actually displaying public uh, displays of affection to get under the president's skin in order to become governor. I just don't understand the connection with that and how that's supposed to boost the campaign to help you get votes to become the governor of a state. Um, our leadership is lacking big time. We know that. Um we're hurting real bad for sound leadership, and this is a great example of that. This man is supposed to become the governor of a state, and this is uh, the way that he goes about a campaign. Um, pretty bad situation that my state, Maryland, is in. Um, but also, um, what happened to the time where if a man had a problem with a man, he went to talk to that man? Um, if the problem really is, if he's being sincere and the problem is with President Trump himself, um, you're a senator. Why? Why not just go and talk to President Trump and air your grievances uh, rather than gather these children up and pay somebody to shoot this this video ad and pay for um, airtime to run it? Um, I just don't understand how how that's um, productive at all. Um, I'm, I'm a bit confused and um, I'm uncomfortable with the whole situation. But um, leave some comments. I want to know if y'all saw it, what you thought of it, and um, where you think this is going. I think we're headed in, in a really bad, uh, headed to a bad situation as a country and as a world. 
I think leadership is 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 almost dead. Um, authority is almost a thing of the past. Rules, morals. Um, we, we're at a point where it's it's a free for all. Um, the adults are becoming like children, and the children are taking over. Uh, women are getting stronger, men are getting weaker, um, and I, I'm uncomfortable with it. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are. Peace, God bless.